Hey Maximizers, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Couponing for Beginners series. Today's video is going to be all about coupon organization. Now that you have your coupons, you know the types of coupons, how are you going to store these things? How are you going to make it easy for you to shop in the store? I'm going to share with you the two ways that I've organized my coupons and show you a little bit about what I do and what works for me. So if you're interested in learning how to organize your coupons, just keep on watching. So most people, when they think about coupons and organizing, they think of somebody with this giant binder and just endless amounts of coupons, which can be very, very, very overwhelming. So I'm here to simplify it for you. Now, when I first started, I did have a binder and I did have the baseball card inserts. Now they have it where you can just buy actual coupon inserts to put inside of a binder. And I had all of my coupons in there. I would cut everything, put them in there. Um, now I use the actual coupon accordions, but I'm going to show you guys both methods. Some people like them. There's also a only cut what you're going to use method as well. So I'm going to go through these three methods. All with right. You. Here is my binder that I used to use. Shout out to my college, Stevenson University. Um, I used to use this binder. Um, as you can see, it's old, dusty. I haven't used it in a while. I had these, um, in, these are the div actual dividers. Um, and then these are the actual inserts that I had. As you can see, they have like the little pockets. It's kind of hard to see because they're clear. But you can see little pockets. I had baseball card inserts. And then I kind of got a little saggy. And these are actual um, picture frame inserts, which I thought was awesome. So these kind of go inside of a picture book. So if you were going to make like a photo album. Um, but the slots were a little bit bigger. So my printable coupons and bigger coupons were able to print in there. So I would literally cut everything. I use my dividers as like sorting. Like I would have like food behind this one. And then I would have like toiletries. And then I would have kitchen items behind each one of these. Um, but this just got to be too big and bulky. So let me show you what I do now, which is my absolute favorite okay, way. Okay, so just I just put some coupons in here to show you guys my old way. So I literally would have the baseball card inserts. You see that? And then these are the actual, if you wanted to make a photo album inserts, it has three, one, two, three pockets. You slide all your coupons in there, you organize them how you see fit, and you have this giant binder um, of coupons. Okay, so don't mind my mess. My current way is an accordion. So I have three accordions, which I'm going to open up and show you guys that I classify as non-food. So this is non-food items. And then I have two blue accordions that have my food items in them. So this stores all of my coupons. So now I literally, I cut everything that I think I might use and I put them in here. And anything that I have that I might not use, I may give away to someone else or a deal may come up I still cut those but I store them somewhere else which I'll show you in a second but this is what I carry around in my coupon bag I have my two food and I have my three non food along with something new that I just added which I'll show you guys first is my weekly shopping so I have this accordion and sorry it's hard to film with one hand I have this accordion. So in this accordion, I have it labeled by the store. So I have CVS, I have Walgreens, I have Publix. You probably can't see because the coupon's in the way. And I have Dollar Tree, and then I have Other, right? Hopefully you can see that. So this is my daily or weekly trip accordion. So any sales that I'm catching for the week, I'll put the coupons in here. So I have CVS, and then if you look in CVS, any deals that I plan to do, all of my CVS CRTs, which are the coupons that print at the red box. And then all of my, my extra bucks are in here. All of my extra bucks are in here. So everything for CVS is in here. And then same, everything for Walgreens. The Walgreens booklet that you get at the front of the store. I leave that right in my Walgreens pocket. Publix, Dollar Tree, and then other. So Dollar General, Target, the stores that I don't go to all the time. But let's see. Nope, there's nothing in there right now. So any other store that I'm going to go to, I just put everything for the week in here. So when I get to a store, I can just grab all my coupons whoop, and I know exactly what I'm using. Okay. Um, so that is my daily ones. And let me show you individually. Then. So I've been doing this method for probably the past like 
five, six years, I would say since I've been in Florida. So probably a good solid five years. And I labeled these forever ago. They're not in any particular order. I kind of have them memorized now, but literally I just took the little tabs and I put them in breakdowns. So I had veggies, I had meat, desserts, um, meals. So by frozen meals, I mean like Stouffer's lasagna, anything that's already a put together meal that's frozen bread fruit etc so i cut all my coupons and i put them in there so when i need a deal i just say oh there's soup on sale i go right to my soup folder oh sugar i go right to my sugar folder and etc um this has worked great for me that's why i've been doing it for over five years so i have this one and then i have one more that has my cereal spices condiments candy gum or anything that's a snack, which is full. Anything that's a snack in there and then dairy products. So those are my food ones. Non-food also is like, doesn't have any rhyme or reason. Like I said, I labeled these like five years ago. So literally you can see what I have in here and I just shove all the coupons in there. Um, and then each one has different items. Baby stuff from when I was couponing heavily for baby items. Um, I just kept it there because one day. And yeah this is everything broken up so that's how i organize so it. again i cut all the coupons so let me just go from the beginning my newspaper guy comes i get the newspapers i already know what's coming up because i've looked at the insert preview so i grab out my ads i need them because i like to use them in store so i take out my ads i take out my inserts sunday morning i literally cut just what i need so for the deals i'm gonna go do because i want to get out the door i cut what i need Later during the week when I have time, I literally sit there and I cut out everything that I think I might use and I store them in the appropriate accordion where it belongs. As I'm preparing my deals for the following week or if I look on Tuesday and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to Target. There's a great deal. I get everything I need and then I put it in my daily trip one, right? So sometimes I can just leave just with a daily trip one because I know everything I need is in here. Um, and then I leave things that I cut out because I may give these coupons away or a deal may spring up that I wasn't exactly thinking of, but I might be interested in trying. So I do keep all the coupons until they expire. And let me show you what I do with them, which is really not organized at all. There's no organization. So these are things that I don't necessarily need to do a deal for. I don't really need these coupons, but I don't like to throw any of them away. Because in the past, I've thrown away coupons and missed out on good deals of items that I actually learned to love. So, I literally cut out everything and I literally just throw them in here. So, I know that if something pops up and I'm like, hey, the coupon database says we should have that coupon. If it's not in my accordions, it's in here. So, I just keep this in my couponing bag. And it's just, as you can see... I don't have a dog, but my family has a dog. So if dog sales come up, I'll just get it for them and then give it to them. Um, so I don't put stuff that I don't plan on using in my accordions. I keep it here. But this, again, works best for me, may not work best for you. Now, the other way that I know that some couponers do, a lot of couponers do it this way now, is they just clip what they need. And they write at the top of the insert. So I showed you guys how to see the actual date on the insert. But they will write the date at the top of the insert. Cut out the coupons that they need. And then leave this at home. Right? So when they go to the store, they probably only take their one accordion with everything they need. And they leave the inserts at home. I used to do that. I did that for a little while. Maybe like six months. The reason why I don't like to do that anymore is that sometimes I'll plan a deal. I'll get to the store, they're out of an item, or the price is different, and I need coupons that I left at home, and I don't want to feel like driving back home. So either I don't do the deal, or I would sometimes pay money because it's items that I needed or really wanted, right? And the deal was going to expire very soon. So I don't like to do that. I didn't like not having all my coupons. And then the other reason why I didn't like it is because of clearance. You never know when you're going to walk up on a hot clearance deal. And if you don't have your coupons in that moment, you may miss out on a hot deal. So me personally, I bring all of these accordions. If they're not in the store with me, they are always in the car. So I may just bring in my daily one, right? 
but these are always in the car. So if I need them, boop, I can just run to the car, get what I need for an extra deal, or if things aren't there and I need to change some items around, I can easily go to my car and get the other coupons that I need. So those are the three ways that you can store your coupons. So let's recap. The first way is the old fashioned way. Get a binder, get the inserts, and stuff your coupons in them. The second way is the accordion way. Cut out all your coupons, put them in the accordions. You can get these at Dollar Tree and at Walmart. I think I paid two bucks for each one, but again, I've had these things for like six years now. Um, so accordion, cut them out, put them in. And then also, if you do accordion, get a daily one. So that way all your deals are in there all together and you don't have to think about it when you're in the store. And then the third way is clip only what you need. Prepare your deals, clip your coupons, and store these at home. I used to store mine like in a storage container. I had like a tote bin. All the inserts were there, labeled, in order. So that way when I needed a coupon, I just bam, went to that insert and grabbed what I needed. So those are the three ways to store your coupon. Along with storage, I suggest you have like a coupon bag of some sort. Um, so that way you can put your accordions in or your binders in. And in that bag, I suggest what I have in my bag. I always have a pair of scissors because sometimes I'm in a rush and I may bring these inserts with me and a deal may be hot and I may need to cut it, right? So I always have a pair of scissors. I always have a pen and I always have paper, like a notebook with me. So that way, if I need to write down some deals or if I need to figure out some things, I'm always prepared. So I would suggest always have some scissors, pen, and a paper with you because you never know when you might need it as a couponer. Please let me know if you have any questions. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all next week for episode four.